Now I think it's fair to say that here at Overdy Best we really love our plants. We get a great deal of pleasure out of growing all sorts of neat things. Growing them to the highest quality, making sure they're nice, healthy, vigorous plants that when you take them and put them into your garden will get off to a great start and also give you something of the pleasure that we get out of growing them too. Take for example this absolutely angelic little anemone. This is an anemone wild swan. It's a beautiful, beautiful little plant. Just look at this. It's got this anemone type flower that when you open it you'll see that it's pure white with this lovely yellow center. But look at the backs of the petals. Just before it opens you'll see the reverse has got this lovely lilac purple on the reverse side. Then look inside the canopy and you'll see that there's lots of little buds coming that when they begin to open have this lovely kind of bell shaped flower that then goes through this whole stage of going through and producing these beautiful flowers. Now what's interesting about this plant is that it turned up as a chance seedling on a nursery in southwest Scotland. Elizabeth McGregor, along with her husband Alistair and her son now, were working at growing all sorts of unusual cottage style plants. They got all sorts of perennials including violas and some anemones. And one day in the middle of a batch of seedlings, she noticed one seedling that was different from all the others. This one clearly had some hybrid vigor. It was bigger and freer flowering and as she set it aside and watched it it just seemed to keep on flowering and flowering and the more she watched it the more impressed she was with it. Well she worked up some quantities and then one day she shared the fact that she had this with a well-known plantsman in Britain Roy Lancaster and he seen it and then encouraged her to really think about putting it into production and introduce it to the rest of us gardeners. Well she did that and eventually after trials and tribulations it eventually was worked up into enough numbers to release it at the Chelsea Flower Show and guess what? It became the most popular plant. It was voted the best plant at the show in 2011 and now today here we are with it growing in our nursery and we think you will enjoy growing it too. What's interesting about it is that we don't quite know what the parentage of the variety is. It looks like it's a seedling between a spring flowering one and an autumn flowering one but we're not sure about that we can only guess but one thing we do know is that it's a beautiful little plant that grows to about 15, 16, maybe 18 inches high produces these flowers now in late spring and early summer keeps on going until the middle of the summer when it will often take a bit of a break and then sit through the summertime and then in the autumn time when it turns cool and moist again starts up and comes with a new round of flowering. One thing's important with it and that is that when you get it dig in plenty of organic matter. It will enjoy a nice cool humus rich root run. So dig in plenty of organic matter, water it well to get it started of course and then also mulch it. That'll help to keep the roots a little bit more on the cool and moist side. Make sure it doesn't stay too wet. It has to be in free draining soil. That's important too. But one thing's for sure, you're going to enjoy growing this beautiful little anemone which I think will just set your heart ablaze with lots of pleasure and enjoyment. This is an enemy wild swan.